So in the beginning of February, I decided that this year is the year that I want to do a triathlon. The first event that I found was the Tin Man, which happened on the 17th of March, which gave me exactly four weeks to train. So I did a triathlon with four weeks of training. We've got just over a week for the triathlon. So we're getting some full training in, getting my 600 meter swim down, trying to cut down the time. Out of all the three disciplines, I'd say swimming was my worst one. Uh, I, I thought I could swim very well until I started doing laps in the pool and realized very quickly that doing a 600 meter swim was gonna be a nightmare to get through. So I started working with a swimming coach. We started practicing. We started getting a lot more laps in and a lot more technical skills in which I wasn't used to. I didn't know what I was doing. I uh, didn't know how to breathe properly. I didn't know how to, to catch properly, to kick properly. And I've still got a lot of those issues, but we worked on a lot of those issues just to get right and to get me through that 600 meter swim. So it's five days till the triathlon. Getting maybe the last swim in, we might get one more swim in. 20 minutes is my time. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna go faster than that. I might even go slower on the on the day just to conserve my energy especially that it's my first triathlon but uh, consistently getting between 18 to 20 minutes so yeah we'll just take the swim nice and chilled make up some time on the bike and then the run will just go all out so i did a 10k bike ride this morning did it on the roads just to get a feel for my bike and see how we're going to do next week uh, but yeah exactly seven days till the triathlon so feeling strong guys the triathlon is upon us it is tomorrow already it seems crazy that it's already already happening nerves are setting in a little bit but not too bad um, the cool thing is the difference of getting ready for a fight and the triathlon usually I'll be cutting weight right now and uh, now I can carve up I can eat whatever I want which is great get some energy up for tomorrow but yeah, getting everything ready. We're gonna pack all our things. It's a lot to pack. Guys, it's the night before the triathlon. We've got everything set up here. Let's get to bed soon. So we've got everything laid out. I'm gonna just go through my checklist, make sure that I've got everything ready. But uh, I think we've packed and we, we sort it for tomorrow. Let's get it. Okay, it's 10 past four. Triathlon day is here. Time to fuel up. Okay, transition is set up. We're in the transition area. I've got my bike packed, all my stuff out. Now we just wait to start. It's a lot of people here. So one of the first things my coach told me was stay behind in the swim. Don't rush in the water. Don't get involved with everyone running in the water because it's going to be a nightmare. That's where a lot of people panic because you've got all these people kicking and swimming next to you and you can get hit in the face and pushed under. So he said, just take your time stay at the back don't worry about anybody don't worry about how long you're taking the swim just take your time so if you look in the footage here i am way back i'm right right at the back but i also wasn't watching properly i had a lot of nerves going into the swim because when you can see how far the boys are it's very daunting when you can see how far the 600 meters looks i thought the people in front of me were waiting to go in i didn't know they weren't competitors they were all just standing there to to spectate so i got in a lot later so i just get out of the transition from the swim get onto the bike and there's about a 500 meter ride from where we have to go from the transition area to the road and this guy just decides to turn in front of me and there i crashed <laughs> my first bike crash um my knee got a bit injured it was pretty sore and it was bleeding a little bit i had gloves on so it wasn't too bad but he kept apologizing and i was in such a bad frame of mind because crashing was like my biggest fear and now i've crashed and as i got back into the bike my handlebars were skew so i had to try and hold the tire and bend the handlebars back straight and then once i was back on my handlebars were still a little bit skew Plus my brake mechanism was skewed, so it threw me off completely. Like I had such a good swim and now I've had my first bike crash before I'm even on the road, which wasn't great, but I carried on. 
Okay, we're 10 k's in. 22 minutes. It's not too bad. I said I'm going to do this in about 40 45. So we're right on target. It's getting very hot now. I don't know what the temperature is, but it feels like it's 31. It's going to go to about 34 today. Once we get to the top of this hill, go one more lap. Can do it. There's a guy that crashed and he's not moving. Ambulance just came to check him. But at least they're there to take care of him. I'm going 26 k's an hour. Got no one around me. Just taking it easy. Enjoying it. Gonna enjoy this last little bit. Coming up to the end. Let's push. Last little climb. I swear I keep hearing people whistling. But then there's no one there. Maybe the sun's getting to me. <laughs> oh, this is good. Now I'm feeling strong. I started off feeling so nervous. And now I'm feeling so good. Thank you. Thanks. First K done. Jesus, I killed him. He's killing me from the crash. I didn't land that hard, but I'm feeling it now that I'm running, especially on this deep track. So, I'm feeling quite hectic. So, we finally got to the run, and I was having a solid run. I was feeling good, I was feeling strong. I just had to slow down at one point because the temperature was about 34 degrees at this stage. And my heart rate shot up to 186 which is way higher than i've ever seen it shoot up to even when i'm doing intense training it, it hovers around 150. so the heat was a bit much and i needed to slow down but i took a walk i'd walked for about a minute and a half my heart rate came all the way down to 140. i drank i sprayed some water on my neck and my head felt good and i carried on and i did a solid run didn't stop running the entire 5Ks finished in about 29 minutes. So overall, my run was very, very good. 4Ks in, one to go, last push. Ah, thank you. Time is. What is the time now? And what time did I start? 20 past 8. Yeah. So an hour 40 minutes. Okay, so about an hour 40 minutes or so. It's exactly what I wanted to do for my first one. We'll see results later. I'm not too worried where I came, but I gave it everything. was the triathlon guys uh, my first triathlon my time was 1 minute 37 54 seconds I came 60th place out of I think there were 200 in my category for this for the sprint so not too bad I wasn't uh, planning to place anywhere I thought I'm just gonna do what I can enjoy the race and, and I did it goes to show even though I ruptured my Achilles I had thoracic outlet syndrome for those of you that follow my channel I've gone through all these things and no matter what you set your mind to, you can get it done. Never in a million years would I have thought that I could do a triathlon. Um, it feels like it's so out of your league. Like when you look at these guys and they stay so fit 
And uh, to me, it was, it was like something that I would never be able to do. And I managed to do it. I placed third in my age category. I got my medal and I can say I'm a triathlete now. And I did my 15K run a few weeks before the triathlon. So I've got two medals now in less than a month. And it feels good. I feel fit. My resting heart rate is 38 beats a minute. So my fitness is crazy. I'm training hard. I'm feeling good and strong. And it's just a message to, to say, like, keep pushing no matter what you're going through. No matter how depressed you're feeling at the moment or whatever injury you have at the moment. Just keep pushing through and before you know it, you'll be doing great things and achieving things that you never knew was possible. So I'm training for the next one and I'll take you guys with me. Hopefully I get more footage of my training and uh, I can take you guys along for the ride. The next one I'm planning to do is in Sun City. So we should have a proper vlog there where I can show you the whole of Sun City and Valley of the Waves, which is going to be epic. So I will see you guys there.